Do you think he'll go for it? He has to. There's too much at stake. How is it that I may help you, my brethren? Uh, we're looking for a man. Our intel says that he's with you. We have many souls that take rest in these humble dwellings. But what name does this man you speak of go by? Uh, the man we're seeking goes by many names. The Funky Destroyer, the Smasher, Captain Smash, Stupid. But most people know him as Julian. Brother Julian is not seeing any visitors at this time. He has sealed himself from the outside world ever since. Oh, come on, please! We have to talk to Julian! Lives are at stake! I am sorry, but that is impossible. Uh, here's five bucks. Okay. Right this way. Julian? Is that you? Please leave. I have nothing to say to anyone. Now you listen to me, Julian. You've been gone for far too long. The world needs you back. People need smashing stuff. The world? What kind of world turns its back on you? Tells you you're nothing and then spits in your face? No, I could never smash in a world like that. Let me assure you, Julian, that things will be different on the Rich Alvarez channel. You will be given all the materials you need to do what you do best. And you will also be loved and cherished by an audience of thousands of fans. What do you say? You think I haven't been promised all of that before? You think I'm just gonna snap out of this and everything will be hunky-dory? No. You haven't seen the things I've seen. You haven't been through what I've been through. I've been disrespected. Trashed. Smashed. Literally. I'll never smash again. Not after what happened. And what? did happen, Julian. I don't like to think about it, but if you must know. It was hard to imagine anything could go wrong for Roxanne and I. We were gaining a following and the people loved us. We were an unstoppable team, and every smash seemed to bring us closer together. That is, until Jack showed up. Jack ruined everything. He seemed to put Roxanne in a trance. She was helpless to his every whim. It wasn't soon after that that Roxanne started to change. She became arrogant and opinionated, and made it clear that her only real care in the world was Jack. When Jack was around, everything went to hell. Jack was the kind of person that needed everyone to pay attention to him. And when they wouldn't, Jack got angry, and made sure Roxanne dropped everything to pay attention to him. Jack was a complete sociopath, and when he was around, he made everyone so uncomfortable that they didn't want to do their job. Roxanne was totally lost, and Jack had her convinced that she was better than everyone, and didn't need anyone but him. Everything was falling apart, and that's when the jealousy set in. Roxanne accused me of taking all the attention and smashing stuff, and dropped me like yesterday's baloney. Jack took her from me, and I'll never be the same. My god. Julian. I had no idea. So now do you see? Now do you see why I can never pick up my hammer again? Because there is no hammer. It left me. For a manipulative jackass. <laughs> Julian, as much as I'd love to walk away right now and ease your pain, it is simply impossible. The world needs you! Don't you see? They need you to smash their crap! They do? Yes, Julian. And this is your chance to start anew, on a new channel, with a new beginning. Yes. Yes, you're right. But... But without Roxanne, I'm... Nothing. That's where you're wrong, Julian! It is true that Roxanne was part of your past, but that doesn't mean you can't go back to your roots. Huh? There's an old friend here that missed you very much. You remember Maxie the Axie, don't you? Maxie! I made a solemn vow to never smash again. I cannot break that vow. Not for anything. I'm sorry. <sighs> I thought there'd be no convincing you, Julian. That's why Rich Alvarez always comes with a plan B. Plan B. Hmm? 
sweet and salty nut bars, Julian? I'm in. Welcome to the Rich Alvarez channel. We have a surprise for you. It's good to be back. <laughs>